More than 11,000 people suffering from painful conditions have received medical marijuana cards since the program began in 2014, but others face frustrating hurdles that critics say need to be streamlined. To investigator Pam Zeckman checked it out after getting a complaint from a patient who's waited five months to get her card. It breaks my heart to see her like this. Christine Brazo has been trying to get her mother a medical marijuana card since May. Mary Delpino has spinal stenosis, COPD, and needs oxygen to breathe. Her rheumatoid arthritis qualifies her for medical marijuana. It's very bad. It really hurts. You said it hurts like hell. Yeah, it does hurt like hell. And I don't know what the hell the state's doing. The state requires a doctor's certification that an applicant has one of the qualifying conditions to get a card, and fingerprints are needed for a criminal history check by the state police and FBI. Run in there and get me my pills. Prescribed pain medications have not helped Alpino, so her daughter thought marijuana might. It might help, or it might not, but let's, let's try it and see. Their efforts have been frustrated by processing delays, including having to have their fingerprints taken twice. Under normal circumstances, 24 to 48 hours they're going through. James Williams operates biometric impressions where Delpino's prints were taken. It's uncharacteristicable. Her first set of prints, taken May 15th, were deemed unacceptable by the state and FBI because they lacked a clear ridge detail, something Delpino does not have. They have to come back. Sick as they may be. They have to, yeah. And a later second attempt was rejected by the state. As you can tell, equally poor. Only then was Delpino allowed to apply for a name-based background check. And when the family still hadn't heard anything a month later, Brazo called CBS2. This is ridiculous. The state of Illinois should be ashamed of themselves. Medical marijuana advocates say Illinois is the only state that requires a fingerprint background check. We believe that those burdens uh, need to be removed. Uh, patients should not have to undergo that extra step. It just seems Ridiculous. How many more people are waiting? Pam Zeckman, CBS2 Investigators. Pam, thank you. A state spokeswoman said this is still a pilot program and the agencies involved are working to improve its procedures. She said the public health department was never notified of problems with Delpino's fingerprints. Delpino has passed her background check and her card is now in the mail.